Next Thursday, keep this in mind too, uh, fantasy football players, three games on Thanksgiving. So uh, make sure you're paying attention <laughs> oh, yeah. next week as well. Uh, a lot of injuries to get to. We'll talk about those. And we'll also bring you our studs, duds, and sleepers, as I mentioned. And a lot of guys on the mend as well uh, with Sidney Rice and Vincent Jackson and Reggie Bush and Austin Colley all uh, on the comeback. So that is uh, good news for fantasy football players. And I don't know about you guys, but just excited to get rid of the buys. And now you got your... That's your roster pretty much from here on out. Yeah, I love it. I mean, unless you're injury depleted, you know, in serious trouble there, like you can finally just roll with your lineup the rest of the way. You know, I mean, assuming you have something to play for. The negative is week 11 means there's only three more regular season fantasy games in most formats. So, right. I mean, if you've been waiting for things to come together until now, it might be just a little too late uh, like it is for me in a few weeks. <laughs> Well, that's where I was going. Where, where is everyone standing? Uh, this last week was... Mine will be short and sweet, guys. This last week was the first time I lost all three leagues. So. boy, I went Not, not a I good went, week. I went 4-1 and one Nice. last week. Nice. I had. I told good. you in the parking lot, I had Roddy White in one league, Dwayne Bowe in the other three, and then, then the other league I lost. So I don't have either one of those guys. But, yeah, I, I cleaned up. I'm 7-3 uh, I'm and three in my main league, looking, looking tough. And uh, in my other leagues, I'm like... What am I in the league we're in on online, Mark? I'm I, with the one I just beat you really bad in. Um, <laughs> hey, Mark, yeah, look that up, Mark. Yeah, well, yeah, I think I'm like six yeah, and hold, four. Hold on a second while I bring this up on the computer. <laughs> right. Seven and three, six and four, something like that. Looking good, but the best part is in my leagues that I'm bad in, I'm three and seven in two leagues and four and six in another, and I'm still alive. I'm still like a game or two back. Anything, It could happen. I could sure. sneak into the playoffs. With like a, a five and eight record or uh, or something like that, and that could happen. And then, and then yeah, who knows? It's all work. There's four or five and five teams in our league. Unbelievable. Me being one of them. Yeah. Mark being another one <laughs> with so uh, many points. Uh, I hate Mike Vick. <laughs> <laughs> you and Eric. Or, yeah, you and, you and Eric. Eric three three leagues I lost last week because of Mike Vick. Our league that the three of us are in, I lost by uh, six points because. The guy I was playing, his last two players he had going, Mike Wallace, who went nuts Sunday night, mm -hmm. and Mike Vick, who was in another stratosphere Monday night, uh, he gets 85 points from these two guys combined. <laughs> I lose by six. Uh, my Vegas league, same thing, situation. Mike Vick gets like 55 points. I lose by three. And in a third league, I, Vick, my opponent, of course, has him going. I lose by ten. Uh, so, needless to say, I'm I'm about ready to fly to Vegas, or not Vegas, I'm, well, okay, I wouldn't mind doing there either. Yeah. I'm about ready to fly to Philly and, then after and that, search out Vegas, uh, search out, I got Vegas on the brain, search out Mike Vick and destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> By electrocution or? Anything, any way it takes to oh. get rid of him. By any means necessary. I'm not, Sorry. no, don't take her, I'm not, I'm not bitter, no. Well, in one league, I actually had Mike Vick in the Facebook league, and I was down by 59, and he got 58 and a half, and I still lost by a half point. But I thought I had no chance, you know, going in with down 59, that's for sure. Nick, where are you at in your leagues? Oh, man, I had a so-so week last week. I, I Actually, in my Roto league, it just I just keep creeping up. Good. But we've got just, I mean, those points are just so close. Um, and then in one league, I'm four and six, but I don't really care about that one. And then... Uh, the one that I'm actually starting to care about, I've rattled off five in a row. That a boy. And, it's uh, weird how it changes which place. leagues you yeah. care about. Exactly. <laughs> I, exactly. Now, I'm like, this is the only one I pay attention to now. Ridiculous. Yeah, no, I'm in the same boat. That's how it goes. But like Eric said, a, a very good point. Only three weeks left in most regular seasons. So uh, now is the time. We will take your phone calls, try to help you out, try to help you tweak that team. 529-1450 is the phone number. 529-1450. Let's dive into the injuries. There's... A handful out there, and at the running back position, you have uh, D'Angelo Williams. He's going to be done for the year, and uh, that's not good news as he was a, a keeper in some leagues oh, yeah. for, for some teams out there. Jonathan Stewart is back up. He is also out this week. Uh, their third string running back didn't play horribly last week. He got 100 yards. Yeah, did you have 100 yards on the ground. Yeah, I did. I did. Mike Goodson picked up uh, uh, 100 yards on the ground. A decent game, but this week. Uh, against Baltimore. Against Baltimore, you might want to leave him on the bench. Yeah, keep him on the bench. He's not my sleeper this week. Pierre Thomas is uh, getting comfy on the bench. What's yes. the latest on him? I know he's out this week, but is the, there a chance? The, this is one of the this is one of the worst ankle injuries I guess I've ever heard of. At the time, it didn't seem like it was that serious, but he's missed what six, seven weeks. Oh, so this, many. This is at the yeah. point now where I mean, even if he comes back now, he's going to have to get back in the flow. And he, is he going to really be able to help anyone? 
I don't think so. What I read about him before I came in, um, Pierre Thomas was dressed and in pads yesterday at practice, but not participating in practice. He was going through like some individual drills. He wasn't like part of the the, the actual practice, but he was suited up, which is uh, progress from where he's been before. So if you are a Pierre Thomas owner and you're just holding on and holding on, and I was one of you, but I just pedaled him because he, I got tired of well, it. Well, yeah, he probably put on the pads because he's been out so long. He's yeah. worried he got too fat and went to his uniform. <laughs> yeah, I think it still fits. But they're saying uh, he is highly questionable yeah, he's for week 12, right? which means really keep your eye out. Of week 12, you may see Pierre Thomas coming back. Now, someone, believe someone, it or not. I know. Someone yeah. else now, we got the same situation with, it seems like it never fit, never ends, is... Uh, Floyd in, in San Diego in that hamstring. Yeah. Well, apparently he had a setback either Thursday or Friday, so it was almost certain he was going to play this week. Now it's iffy at best. So, and then with the same thing with Gates now. Gates is doubtful. Right. So the Randy McMichael uh, thing is on again, I'd say, even though the problem is now it's Monday night and you don't know between now and Monday night, he may, have, you know, have healing hands, Gates, and have be okay, but it doesn't look good for Gates and or Floyd. Yeah, Gates went from questionable to doubtful last night. He was questionable all week and then went to doubtful last night. So it doesn't look good for Gates. I wouldn't have him in my lineup. I one question, one thing here. Also, some people may saw that Arian Foster uh, missed practice on Friday and wondered, uh-oh. Well, Houston Chronicle reports that he missed it because due to a death in the family. So it was not an injury. He should be fine to go. So when you see that he missed practice, don't worry. It was an injury. And, Nick, you have him on one of your rosters. You definitely should play him, right? That was your question. Yeah. Who, who I mean, well, the they're, they're, playing the, they're playing the Jets. Right. And I see Felix Jones on the bench, and he's got Detroit. Yeah. And I really think that could be a shootout. Mm. So, that's Jones, tough, Jones has been getting better, too. That, and that's a tough call, Nick, because, I mean, on one hand, you have, like, the, the a guy who's been the best running back in the league so far up to this point with a really tough matchup against the Jets. And on the other hand, you got a guy like Felix Jones who... It seems like with Jason Garrett coming in, he's going to be the feature guy. Like, they're going to phase Marion Barber out a little bit. At least that's what I understand. So, that Good is idea. a tough call. Who's your other running back, Nick? Steven Jackson. Mm, can't say him. Yikes. Well... Yeah, good luck to you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all your grand advice. They're, they're all good. Here's the thing. You can't really, there's not a bad play out of the bunch, so that's a positive, and, you know. And, and you'll, like Nick said, against the Lions, Felix Jones is you know, it's a good matchup. The Lions have given up the six most fantasy points a game to running backs in the last four, so there's something else to chew on. Ugh. Thanks a lot. I hate my life. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easier. 529-1450. That's why we're here, right? 